Boo. Some of you think Halloween is the best holiday of the year. It's not my favorite. Christmas is my favorite. But Halloween gets better year after year as I look into more Halloween recipes. I'm like, oh, I'm going to make this. Oh, I'm going to make that. Well, I'm kind of tired. I kind of burned out the Halloween cupcake thing and the cakes. And it's always desserts. So I looked long and hard for a good recipe. And I, I kind of found two separate recipes. I want to bring them together. Because I'd like, if you guys do try this, to use it as a meal. It would be really cool. So we're doing Bloody Mary salmon and eyeball soup. And the eyeball soup really sounds good. No lie. So uh, let's bring you in close. Let's show you all the ingredients. And let's start this Halloween episode. Okay, there's so many ingredients. I'm just, and ironically, it's a pretty easy dish to do. So let's just run down what we got. Got salt and pepper, crushed tomatoes. What are they called again? Kalamata olives. And these are pitted ones. I've got fresh mozzarella balls, uh, half and half, unsalted butter, onions, garlic, got the uh, pimento stuffed olives. Here's my salmon, oregano, rosemary, chives, Bloody Mary mix. This is the white wine and chicken stock. You can make your own, any of this stuff you can make your own. You can make your own Bloody Mary mix if you want. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this ready. We're gonna get it marinating. So let's get the salt and pepper. I'm using a sea salt. Not that this thing hasn't been in the sea for a while anyway, but salt and pepper never hurts. And as you guys know, I like lots of pepper. I don't know why. Just, I guess I'm really getting used to making a part of all my cooking. Okay, if you don't have Bloody Mary mix and you want to make your own, just get tomato juice or V8 juice, add some black pepper, lots of Tabasco sauce, uh, maybe some minced garlic, uh, put whatever you want in here uh, to make it taste good. But basically, uh, the spiciness comes from cayenne peppers and a bunch of other, other peppers. So I'm just going to make sure I have enough to cover the fish. There we go. Okay, then cover it with some press and seal or some plastic wrap. You can place this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna work on my soup and I'm not gonna pull this out till I'm, my soup is cooking on the stove. And then I'll pull this out uh, towards the end and cook it. Okay, first thing you wanna do is melt the butter. All right, once the butter's melted, put in your garlic, put in your onions. You're gonna just kind of saute this in the butter and cook it till the onions are translucent. If you don't know what translucent is, I didn't either for the longest time. Basically, they become kind of clear-like. Okay, now that your onions are somewhat translucent, you're gonna pour the wine in, and you're gonna cook that down for about a minute. Most of the liquid will evaporate. Now you're gonna wanna put in your crushed tomatoes. and your chicken stock, and this is what I'm gonna do. As you guys know, I don't like to waste anything, so I'm gonna pour my chicken stock in here, trying to wash the edges off of the, see? Just kind of swish it around. And then you get a lot of the crushed tomato sauce. Do the same thing with this one. Swish it around, try and wash the sides off. And just take the rest of the stock and just pour it right in. And last but not least, boop, put your oregano in there. You're gonna bring this to a boil. While you're waiting for it to boil, put in a little black pepper. Crush a little sea salt in there. Or coarse, any coarse salt, kosher, anything you want. And then just mix it up. Now that you got it to a boil, you're going to lower this and you're going to simmer for about 45 minutes. It's going to reduce it down. Do not put a lid on this. You want all that moisture to leave so it thickens. Okay, while the soup is uh, simmering, grab yourself a toothpick. We're going to make some bugs right now. You're going to take the, the olive, the Kalamata olive, and you're going to take a toothpick and you're gently going to pierce all the way through 
like that. And you can do it twice. There we go. You pull it out. Then you put them in the holes. Okay, so I've poked my holes and put the rosemary into the into our bug for its legs. And now I'm going to do its antennas. And then what they recommend you do is don't bother piercing, but there's a there's already a hole at this end, the small hole. So you're going to take take some chives, and then we're going to cram. There we go. Like that. And then put this one in also. All right, well, that's the best. I'm going to do one more like that. So I got two little bugs for the side of my plate. Okay, we're going to make our eyeballs now. And I'm using these small, fresh mozzarella. You can get these in the deli area of any supermarket now. Then you can pull out one of these. I'm going to work on this right here. Pull out one of these mozzarella balls. So I'm going to slice my pimento olive in half carefully. I feel like I'm doing surgery. I'm just going to gouge out a little hole. I'm going to press it right in there. Pretty scary looking. There's your eyeball. I'm gonna make a few of these. So there's one of them. Okay, go ahead and turn off your flame for a moment. You're gonna to wanna to take a slotted or hold spoon. What you're looking for is to get the, uh, get some of the oregano out or whatever other seasonings. You can put bay leaf in here if you want. You can do whatever you want. Basically, you're just trying to remove that. All right, next step. You're gonna take a little bit of the this gravy you've created, or sauce, or soup, get it into your blender container. And you're gonna do a little bit at a time. Use your smaller, you have a smaller, like, I don't know, what is that, 30, in, 30 ounces, 38 ounces? Okay, that looks good. And you're gonna blend that smooth. Then put it in this bowl right here, and then we're gonna put it back in. Okay, I just got done blending this. It's a lot smoother, look at that. All right, so pour it in this bowl for now until we're ready. Okay, it's time to put everything back in the pot. That's the last one I just blended up. Look how smooth it is now, it's beautiful. It's very hot still. Last step is to stir constantly as you pour in the half and half. You can pour it in like you would be pouring in eggs, let's say, like an egg mixture. So I'm just going to pour it in slowly, stirring constantly. Just a little bit at a time. Oh, look at that. I took it to a whole other level. Now it's like cream of tomato soup. All right, let's go get our fish. So what's I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drain this real quick. So give me one second to drain that. I can't tell you how amazing those three peppers in the Bloody Mary sauce smells. This thing's ready to go. Now my directions say to uh, broil this for seven minutes or if you have a browning wire at the top of your oven or you have a broiler flame, put this on for seven minutes. If not, do 375 and then just test the edges of your fish when it kind of flaky with the fork, it's done. Um, but go ahead and put this in the oven right now. I'm broiling this for about seven minutes. I may have to go a little bit longer because I have thicker steaks. Okay, I've just decided to marinate chicken next in Bloody Mary mix because this smells amazing. And there's your two beautiful salmon steaks. I have enough for two more, but uh, this is kind of a dinner for two. So if you're gonna make this for your sweetheart, there's one for each of you. I'd even start off with a salad before this. Beautiful. All right, now let's bring our soups in. Take your knife here and put a little, little bloodshot <laughs> on the eyeballs. There you go. Not that any of you know what bloodshot eyeballs look like, 
But there it is. Can you see it all? I think it came out great. Look at that. And there's your dinner for two. That is Bloody Mary Salmon with eyeball soup. Let's give it a try. Okay, so the kitchen's a little bit of a mess and it took a little bit of work, but you can always do things ahead of time. You can make the soup ahead of time, the night before, and then warm it up. You can make the eyeballs and put them on a plate and just let them sit in the fridge, put plastic wrap over them. Uh, even the bugs, you can make the bugs ahead of time. It would take you no time to throw it all together later. Let me try the soup right now. It smells like a perfect cream of tomato soup. And it is a perfect cream of tomato soup. Oh, wow. All right, let's try the, let's try the salmon. Oh, flaky. As soon as I broke it, it just flaked right up. It should break up into sections. When you cut it, it should gently just separate. Let's give this a try. Mmm. There it is. Give it a try. Have a safe Halloween. Take care of your kids first, then take care of yourself. And I'll see you on the next episode. Happy Halloween.